Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 56. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 53 to 57. Hey, in this trick 56, we're going to do the same thing we did in 53, 54, and 55, but in a different way. Hey, what is our goal? Our goal is to count unique values in this list here of numbers um, greater than 30. So we have a 7871 and a 7871. There's two of those values, so we only want a one for both of these. So when we scroll down here, there's a bunch of massive duplicates. There's five, but we only want to count one for that. We'll see two different ways to do it. We'll see how to add an extra column with a formula and then put a formula below it. And then we'll end the video with a spectacular formula where we could do the whole process in one formula. Hey. First, let's think of a formula that will tell us true when we bump into the first occurrence of a value and false when we bump into the second or greater occurrence. We'll use the count if formula equals count if. Now, it usually expects a range and a criteria, <clears throat> but what we want is an expandable range. So what I mean is when I copy this down to the next cell, right right in this cell, I only want to look at that range. But when I'm down one, I need to look at both of these. When I'm down here, I need to look at all, all three. So the way we'll do that is we'll click in A8, Shift colon to add uh, A8 colon A8. And I'm going to click in the, in the middle of the first one and hit my F4 key once and twice, because I want to lock this cell reference absolute across the row and relative. That's how you get an expandable range. Now we have our range, so then we need to put a comma. And what's the criteria? The criteria is going to be one cell to my left. That way when the formula is here, it's going to count one. But when it comes down here, the criteria will be looking here through both cells, and it will say two. Now let's just see how this works, and then we'll um, um, amend it, edit it to make it a true false. Control Enter to put the formula in the cell and keep that cell highlighted. And then I will drag it down a few. See, we've got a 1 here, a 2 here, a 1, and a 1. Control Z. Now I'm going to hit F2 to put it back into uh, edit mode. Control Z is undo. Now let's type equals 1, and we've converted it. When it sees a 1, it will say true. When it sees 2 or greater, it will, or when it sees something not 1, it will say false. Control Enter. And now I'm going to uh, click and drag all the way down. I uh, didn't double click because I didn't want it to go down too far there. And sure enough, when we get to our five repeats here, that says true and false, 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 false. Now that's pretty helpful because now we can use uh, an array formula and have it look at this array of true falses and an array um, asking are these values greater than 30. And it will give us, uh, when they multiply them together, it will give us our count. Let's use sum products, equals sum products. The first array is just this array of trues and falses. So I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to Control Shift Up Arrow. That gets me all the way to the top. And um, then I'm going to multiply that range, because those are all true falses. And I need to create some trues and falses to see if each value is greater than 30. So in parentheses, I will click in this cell 1295. Control Shift Up Arrow. Oops, it went one too far. You can either hold Shift and click right here, or you can hold Shift and Down Arrow. And then it gets the right range. Uh, and that needs to be greater than I should have stayed up there because the 30 uh, in a cell is right there. Why do we put the 30 in the cell? Of course, because then it's easy to change. Uh, close parentheses on that and close parentheses on that. Now let's um, evaluate this and, and look and see how this formula is working. This part of it, if you highlight just the range and hit F9, it evaluates that. And sure enough, it's just repeating what we have here, Control Z. Remember, that's a dangerous move if you F9. If you forget to Control Z and you go on to the next bit and F9 it or hit Enter, it'll keep those trues and falses. Now let's go here, highlight this, and then hit F9. Sure enough, it's true. And when we see a false right there, that's because that value is not greater than 30. Control Z. Now let's do the whole thing here. And then uh, F9. And you see there's our ones. That's our count. Uh, given that we have this true-false uh, column. Control-Z. 
Now I'm going to highlight, I have this all highlighted. I'm going to control C because I'm going to use that again. Enter. Now, instead of using some product, you could use some. And sometimes I like doing this because I know the keyboard shortcut is Alt equals. And uh, then I'd build my formula that way. So I have my, built my formula. The only difference is uh, some products allows you to not use Control Shift Enter when you're doing an array. If you're using some or other functions, you have to hit a hold Control and Shift and Enter. That's the magic. Uh, CSE keyboard shortcut, so 24. Now let's switch gears here. Let's come up to the top. If you don't want to add an extra column like that, you can do it in one cell. Now I got this formula from the best Excel website in the world, www.mrxcel.com. This is the form, this is the meshes board. If you click on this link, Aladdin gave us this solution uh, to counting unique values greater than 30 bucks and not only does it give us a solution he gave us some links uh, that describe how this formula evolved into its most efficient form um, so it gives you some history of, of this formula it's just amazing this this message board all right I'm going to um, equal some product we'll use some product and the first array we want now, the, the way this formula works is we want to take into consideration that there might be blanks. So I'm actually, uh, with my cursor right there or up here, I'm going to highlight this whole range here. I'm going to click on the top one and control shift down arrow. Oops, there we have a label there. So I'm going to use that trick again, shift up arrow. So that has to not, and that's less than, greater than. This is, we want to check all the ranges and they're not blank. That's double quote. So not is less than, greater than, and then a double quote for blank. Now we actually, I forgot the parentheses here. You definitely want parentheses around this because this will deliver trues and falses. Times, and now we want to ask is that range, and I'm actually going to copy this range here, control C, and use it. We have to ask if that range is greater than, and we want our 30, which is right here. So that's going to deliver a bunch of trues and falses, just like that uh, formula we saw just a moment ago. And we can evaluate this. If we evaluate this and hit F9, uh, that's all trues, Control-Z. If you evaluate this, F9, you can see it's true, 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 but there's some falses because there's some values that are not greater than 30, Control-Z. And if you highlight all of these, watch what it does. Can, uh, F9, it gives us ones and zeros. So uh, the zeros either represent, um, are representing values that are not greater than 30. Now, look at this one and one. It actually gave us a one for this one and this one. What in the world's going on here? Hey, I better control Z before I get in trouble. Well, watch this. This is the ingenious part of it. We're going to divide by, and we're going to use count if. And in this count if, we're going to use that same range. Here's the count if screen tip. This is important because that range is expecting a range of values and then comma. The criteria. Now usually we just put, you know, greater than 30 or 30 or a word or something like that. But watch this. We're going to paste that same value. Now it's expecting a single criteria here. The fact that we're putting an array of values makes this an array formula. Well, this is, this is all array too. Uh, I'm going to close parentheses, and the, this part right here will give us the, uh, or let's do the whole thing, and watch what it gives us. It's going to give us, um, if we scroll over here, it'll give us two for this and two for that. What? That doesn't sound right, but let's see what it, how it works. F9, two, two. It gives us a ones, because those are single occurrences. There's another duplicate, and there's threes and fives. Now, those fives, those are those five values we saw in a row. Well, guess what? The denominator to this fraction is all ones. When it has a zero, then that means it's less than and it won't be counted. Well, look at this. Um, if we have ones up here, it'll be one divided by two and one divided by two. Well, what's that when you add it together? One. How about these fives? One, two, three, four, fives. What's one divided by five? Point two. When you have point two plus point two plus point two plus point two plus point two, that's one. Even the point three threes, it'll be endless uh, 15 decimals. But even when you add those together, it's going to give us 1. So it's a very clever way. I better control Z. And then I better put a closed parenthesis here. Very clever way of 
uh, getting a unique count greater than 30. I'm going to hit enter. Um, and another way is you can use run formula evaluator, formula auditing evaluator in 2003. It's tools formula auditing, formula evaluator. The keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is alt tuf. Alt T U F. And then you can run through this evaluate, 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 uh, evaluate. We're going to run. And you can scroll down when you're using this big evaluator here. But see, the finally, we're going to get, uh, see, there you can see the ones divided by twos. And when you evaluate it, there it is, the 0.5s, the 0.33s, the 0.2s. So very, and when it's not greater than or 30 or blank, then it gives us zero. Very clever way of getting a unique count. I'm going to close this. All right, we will see you next trick.